Hey, hey, this is Jonathan Pasley, and uh, I'm going to share with you uh, an example uh, of how patience uh, is detrimental in growing uh, your property management company, acquiring more doors. So I'll get straight into it. Uh, sometimes we have clients that come to us and um, I really have to uh, set the expectations up front. Like, you know, sometimes out the gate when we launch a campaign, it can just come screaming out the gate and it's, it is dialed in, it's gener generating leads like crazy, it's, you know, but that doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't happen all the time. Uh, sometimes it takes optimizing, tweaking, and really honing in on the targeting, the messaging uh, of what we're doing uh, to get that, that right formula uh, where, where things are, uh, where the campaigns, uh, strategies, are dialed in they're generating leads the the quantity that we need the quantity that the client needs uh, but also uh, at a profitable cost per lead to as well so i'll give you an example um a recent client that came on that onboarded we onboarded them about two months ago so they started at the beginning of april um got off to a slow start again optimizing tweaking and looking at the data of what's happening looking looking at the phone calls, the form submissions, listening to the phone calls, seeing what's, our, what's quality, what we need to um, eliminate, what we need to focus more on. Um, so although we started off slow, we started making tweaks, tweaks, optimizations uh, over and over and over. And we got to, uh, literally, it was like maybe two weeks ago. So uh, it was like end of May. The client was like, I'm done. I'm, this is not working. It's not, they were getting leads but not enough, uh, he didn't like the results. He was like, ah, I quit, just, you know, off board me. And um, so we had about 30 days to, you know, transition them off, but right at that time where he wanted to, where he canceled, he essentially canceled, uh, we had just got it. Like we had, we just like calibrated everything. Like we optimized everything, everything was dialed in. So literally that week that he canceled, like the campaign skyrocketed. Like it just, it got dialed in. He was getting leads like every day, every day, every day, every day. And like good leads, owner leads, quality leads. He was on the phone. We've seen the phone calls come through. He was answering the phone calls. So it was like seven to 10 days later after he canceled. He's like, hey, whoa, uh, Jonathan, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> things have changed. I was just wondering, just wondering. Um, can we not off board? Can we, I, you know, I know what I said last week. I know what I said, uh, but can we keep things going? Can we, I, I see the difference. I see the, can we keep things going? And so to give you an, an, an idea and I'll show you, I'll show you the actual campaign itself. And I'll compare the last 30 days to the 30 days before that. So when you compare the last 30 days to the 30 days before, uh, before that, um, there's been an increase in up an increase in leads by 125%, right? Shows the power of once, uh, patience, shows the power of patience, and once we get things really dialed in. Now, when we get things dialed in, it doesn't it doesn't take eight, 12 months, no. It'll take a couple of weeks to, to boom, get it, get it dialed in and have the right formula to where things are, are firing correctly. But, um, so leads went up by 125%. His cost per lead also uh, decreased to as well. Now I'm going to turn around the camera. I'm going to show you the campaign and show you some of the numbers so you can see for yourself. All right, so here's the campaign. As you can see, the date right here. So uh, May 10th through June 8th, um, and then we're comparing it. Let's get the focus back here. We're comparing it to May 10th to through May 9th. So remember, this client came on around the beginning of of April, so we we're just getting started. So. Let me show you some of the data here, and I'll use the mouse to navigate, otherwise it's gonna throw the camera off, off focus here. So, all right, so currently, right now, May 10th through June 8th, right here, so what you see here is the conversion. So a conversion for us, what we're counting is a phone call, uh, when someone calls from the campaign or submits the contact form, right? So um, in the last 30 days, from the different campaigns we have running here, total, it's been 18 leads in the last 30 days. In comparison to 30 days before that when we started, only eight leads within those 30 days prior to these last 30 days. So you can see the change here, 125% increase in leads. Now let's look at the 
the cost per conversion, so the cost per lead. Um, so let's look at that. So I'm looking at that, you can get and see last 30 days from May 10th through uh, June 8th, and then comparing from April 10th to May 9th. Um, so you can see here, the difference in cost, so it's about $29 less now, uh, which equates to about a 38% decrease in the cost uh, per lead. So I wanted to show you that cam campaign, the actual results um, of the campaign, and uh, maybe a lesson that patience pays. <laughs> patience pays. Sometimes it takes a couple of weeks, maybe two, three months for it to really get dialed in. Um, but um, once you get dialed in, again, it, it, it pays off. I always use, I always tell clients of how our first property manager, the one we helped grow from 100 doors to 3,000 doors, I didn't understand it at that at that time, but he was adamant about thinking long term. You know, he would say, "Hey, let's do the things now that's going to pay off eight, twelve months." Um, you know, from from now, and so he was really adamant about building his online presence and his uh, his just his his footprint and exposure and things like that. And he did he wasn't really focused on the first couple of weeks or first couple of days or months even. He was looking long term and. That paid off for him. I, I mean, yeah, we learned a ton uh, of the industry of what works, what doesn't work, strategies and things like that. But it paid off for him. I mean, in five years, we helped him, helped him grow from 100 doors to 3,000 doors in those, those five years. Uh, now he's up to like 4,700 doors uh, with different um, offices in different states now. So um, patience pays, uh, just really thinking long term. And not expecting it to just work magically like this it doesn't sometimes it does sometimes it does sometimes we're able to pull off you know a rabbit out the hat and you know get things dialed in immediately but it doesn't always work like that um one last story and i'll let you go <laughs> so uh, here's the exact opposite of what i'm talking about we had one client where uh we we're running a campaign for maybe two weeks i think it spent about 38 dollars and 44 cents he sent me an email he said jonathan when are you going to admit that this is not working? <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. It's been two weeks and you spent a tank of gas. I love <laughs> we need just a little bit more time than that. I think we just... But um, an example of the complete opposite of uh, not having patience and not having uh, the patience to have things run, to really get things dialed in um, and... Um, uh, create and craft and optimize a campaign, a marketing campaign that um, is effective and efficient. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you are a property manager, you run a property management company, you're looking to acquire more doors, feel free to reach out to me and my team. Go to my website, jonathanpassley.com. Check out the videos there. If you submit the form, the contact form there, I go over our strategies and our approach and growth plans, pricing, all that good stuff. Take a look at that. If you feel like we're a good fit and you want to continue the conversation, uh, there's a calendar right below that where you can book a time on my, my calendar for us to talk. Um, but go to the website, check us out, check me out. You can read more about me, my backstory, my history, who I am, and my team too as well. And uh, you can make the decision from there when you, if you want to move forward and, and, uh, and, and set up a time to talk. So, all right, have a good one. See you on the next video.